there. So I want to show you how to use a couple of features in Otter when it comes to updating the transcript. Now, the transcript that I have here is actually not an interview. I'm working on another project where I am analyzing press briefings from the Iowa governor. Um, and so I have a full transcript here of a press briefing from August 4th. And I want to show you a couple of things. So the first is that at any point in the transcript, um, you can check to see, you know, what the interview sounded like uh, by just clicking somewhere in the interview and uh, either clicking or pressing play. So if I click right here, please. We've also made significant progress in our ability to target, contain, and manage virus activity. So you see here that the transcript and the audio file are linked in Otter. And this comes in super handy for editing the transcript because it'll make it a lot easier to figure out exactly where in the audio file you need to be. So, but a couple of things will happen. There are errors in the transcript and they happen pretty normally. Um, so the first thing that you'll see is that um, right around here, we have an odd paragraph break. Uh, that really doesn't make sense. We didn't have a change in speaker. And so I want to pull these two paragraphs together. So to be able to do that, I'm going to go up here in the corner and click on edit. And then you just put your cursor in there and I'm going to put a space and then back up and there you go. And now this whole section is repaired. And again, I can click in here and just press play and listen to this sentence and make sure it's correct. Test have tested negative or 90% and 45,975 have tested positive. Okay. So that fixed that problem. You may have also noticed that I had um, this marked as Kim Reynolds. I record a lot of audio because I'm recording many months of these press briefings. And so Otter for me actually can recognize her voice, which is really handy. Um, but you will have spaces where, um, especially you initially, your uh, transcripts won't immediately know who you are. It also might make some mistakes. So I also want to talk about assigning speakers. So if you go here, now I happen to already know that this is Mayor Mike Porsche who is speaking here. And so I'm going to click on that little number and then I'm going to create a tag. So I'll say Mayor Mike Porsche. Um, oh, I bet I got his name spelling wrong. I'll double check it later, um, but tag here. And then he actually made this statement up here, thank you, governor, before he starts. So I'm going to edit and back up. And you can see this time it actually maintained Mike Porsche, but if it changed, it's very easy to switch. And you're probably not gonna have nearly as many names in here as I do. Um, but you know, if I wanted to change this to example to David Pitt, um, I could just click on him from the drop down menu, or if I started to um, type his name, his name would appear. Right. I don't wanna do that because that's not the correct name. All right, so you'll be able to tag both you as the interviewer and the other person. And Otter will start to make those updates automatically. Um, so uh, down here you can see um, it's working internally to confirm that this is the same speaker. And it is, so um, that'll be a good thing. It missed this little moment right here. You know, the program just makes mistakes. So, but it's very easy to fix once you're in edit mode, all right? And you see, see down here, you can undo, you can redo. It's also automatically saving your changes. Um, so if you make a change and you regret it, you'll have to go through the undo feature to fix it. So that's some basics on how to edit and assign speakers. Uh, the system isn't going to do it perfectly, so sometimes you are going to have to go in and manually change a speaker name. Uh, so, you know, just read through your whole transcript and make sure speakers are attached um, and fix those breaks where a speaker is going along and a speaker isn't. And you might actually also look in here and see if you see any major errors in spelling, um, in word choice. Uh, you don't have to fix every small error. Uh, we're gonna hire actually research assistants to do that later. Uh, but anything that stands out to you that you wanna go ahead and fix very quickly, you can.
All right, that's a place to start.